Hey guys, it's Tim coming at you with a Marvel-related video for this week. Doctor Strange, despite only making two appearances in the MCU prior to it, appears to be playing a prominent role in the upcoming Avengers Infinity War. One thing that helped this was his very solid first outing, and while we wait for a follow-up to that film and the role he'll play in Infinity War, it seems we've been given an answer to a pertinent question from one of the most well-known scenes in Doctor Strange. In the climax of the film, Doctor Strange heads into the Dark Dimension in order to confront Dormammu, the powerful magical entity that rules the realm and has been giving aid to the film's antagonists. Due to having no chance of defeating Dormammu with the level of power he possessed at the time, Strange traps both himself and Dormammu in a time loop using the Time Stone within the Eye of Agamotto. In the loop, Dormammu kills Strange in various ways, but once he dies, Strange re-enters the fight as he started, claiming to have come to bargain. It goes on like this until Dormammu concedes, though that Strange will end the loop, and the day is saved. But this has led to the question of exactly how long this all took. We only see a few full instances of the time loop in the film, and the entire sequence is only a few minutes long with a lot of it just being examples of how Dormammu happened to kill Strange in that particular instance. But it's not like a Dark Lord is going to throw in the towel after a handful of time repeats, so how long was this supposed to be? Well, writer C. Robert Cargill answered this on Twitter, saying, We left it intentionally vague with room to address it later, but it wasn't just a few minutes, I'll tell you that. He was there just long enough to gain even more mastery over his powers. So, while we don't get a full time frame from this, it does help explain how Strange seems so much more powerful in Ragnarok than he did in his own film, despite them being released not too far apart from one another. Apparently, he was able to gain that experience in the relative span of a few minutes due to the power of the Time Stone and having to face down a being of pure magic. Will the amount of times that he experienced death and the lives he lived in the Dark Dimension affect the character moving forward? Only time will tell, but from what Cargill said, there do seem to be plans to address how long Strange was in the Dark Dimension. But what do you guys think? How long do you think Strange was in the Dark Dimension, and how do you think this will affect him? Well, as always, let us know down in the comments, but until next time, this has been Tim from the Hybrid Network, signing out. Hey guys, thanks for watching, but if you want to take your support to the next level, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can be immediately informed whenever a new video goes up. Also check out our website for the latest news and editorials, and if you want to take your support even further, you can always consider donating to us on Patreon to help our videos get better.